Yep, I already got the first one out. The second one just came out. Oh, they weren't too bad. Um, so the second one was the worst one. It came out with a socket being hammered on. The first one, these Nipex pirate wrenches took them right out of there. We got the new steering shaft and a new U joint in over here. I'm just getting these tightened up. I'm gonna have to have someone go hold the wheel once they get tight so I can finish tightening them, but all of the play is gone in the steering now. All of it was in these splines. So this thing should turn quite a bit better now. Get my wrench back. There we go. But Luke at USA Coach keeps these in stock. This is a pretty normal wear place. It splines inside of, whoops, not fly over. Get my light set back up real quick. There you go. But yeah, the splines inside of these are normal wear points on buses. Dad's done it on his before. Luke keeps these in stock. So if you can grab the shaft and grab this and there's play in between the two, replace this end. We went ahead and put a new U-joint in it while we were doing it too. It's just easy to do while you're there. Might as well replace it, no use pressing the old one out and reusing it so just getting these tightened up a little bit right now so they're pretty snug and I'll have someone hold the steering wheel to keep it from turning the, the top big drawer in my toolbox there's one it's in so after all the damage we found in this transmission yesterday we went ahead and pulled it this morning. Uh, if you want to see the damage to it, Dad has a video. If you want to watch us pull it, there's like a two hour live stream. We live streamed the entire thing start to finish, including pulling the clutch and the flywheel out of here. So it would have probably been 45 minutes quicker, but we had it rigged pretty neutrally to hang from a chain. And then we had to pull the mousetrap off because it was hitting the bulkhead. But two hours start to finish to get this out, the clutch, the flywheel pressure plate, all of that's out. Uh, we found a little bit of a leak, as you can see a clean spot down there from the rear main seal, so that's going to have to get taken care of. But not a big deal. Um, so this is not going back to a Spicer 4-speed. We found the deal of a lifetime on a V730 Allison and all the swap parts. This bus, they already wanted to swap it to a V730 automatic. So we're here. The labor's already there to pull a trans and install a trans. And we just found a V730 cheaper than we could find another one of these Spicers. And that is with the different flywheel for it. It does run a flywheel and a flex plate. Both of those are coming with it. The only thing we have to do is get the spacer ring for the back of the engine, which we actually have at home at Dad's place. So that's getting brought down tomorrow. Tomorrow morning they're going to go up to uh, Chattanooga, Tennessee to pick up the transmission and all the parts for it, the cooler and all that. Um, I believe we're going to go with the Stone Bennett shift around here. we got to try to source one and get it coming for it, but that shouldn't be too bad. So, not too bad. Transmission's out. It, they're really easy to pull. And then uh, that bulkhead's going to have to get modified. It's been backed into and bent, so we're probably going to rebuild that section of bulkhead anyway because we need more clearance there for the trans. But this is the last time that this 4106 is going to be shifting gears on its own. Or... Yeah, that you're going to be shifting gears in 4106. So, hopefully, tomorrow night, we will start installing an Allison in this thing. So that should be a pretty good video for you guys. Um, I'm going to throw the few clips I had from yesterday in with this. This will be today's video. And then, uh, now that this is done, I think we're going to take a break for lunch because it's getting to be the heat of the day. Then we'll hop back on. We got one of the front wheels and hubs back together last night. We got the other side to do. This hub still needs to come apart and get sealed. Uh, I can get the pinion finished up today hop on a bunch of that stuff. Um, I don't know that this bus is going to be 100% finished and on the road before we leave. We have a limited schedule, but we should have the trans in and mounted to get it to the point where at least they can get it finished. If we have to come back, we can come back in a couple weeks. But that's going to do it for today. I'll see you guys later.